Hi. So let me tell you briefly um, what we have done in this paper of ours that has come out recently in Cell Reports. The paper focuses on a technique called passive immunization that is used for treating uh, infectious diseases and cancers. In the recent times, an interesting and important phenomena regarding passive immunization has been discovered by uh, several experimental studies. In this paper of ours, we provide an explanation for this interesting phenomena. When we get infected, our body, as you might all know, produces antibodies to fight the pathogens that cause the infection. These antibodies bind these pathogens and target them for clearance and prevent the progression of disease. In many cases, these antibodies are not produced in sufficient amounts or often may not have the right kinds of affinities for the pathogens. In this case, the disease continues to progress. This happens with difficult diseases like HIV. One strategy to deal with this uh, fast disease progression is to use passive immunization. In this case, antibodies produced externally outside the body that may have very high affinities for the pathogen are injected. This strategy then rapidly brings the virus uh, or brings the disease pathogen levels down and prevents the disease from progressing. This passive immunization, as you might expect, um, is a drug-like phenomena, in the, is a drug-like therapy in the sense that it works as long as these administered antibodies are present in circulation. Once these antibodies are cleared, the effect of the passive administration goes away and the disease, if it is still persisting, can begin to progress again. What has been found in recent experimental studies is that surprisingly, these passive immunization strategies can also increase and improve the ability of our own bodies to generate antibodies against these very pathogens. This is quite surprising. It suggests that these passive immunization strategies can, act can actually also have a vaccine-like effect. So not only are these strategies drug-like, they also have a vaccine-like uh, long-term effect in terms of improving and stimulating our immune responses to these infections. How this can happen has not been very well understood. In fact, it's uh, uh, representative of a big gap in our understanding of basic immunology. So in this paper, we present a hypothesis with which uh, we uh, offer an explanation of this vaccine-like effect that arises from passive immunization. The details of this process are fairly complex and are described in our uh, paper. The power of this explanation that we offer is uh, in its ability to allow for us to define optimum passive immunization strategies, which we hope um, in the future will allow us to more successfully deploy these strategies and also improve our ability to combat difficult to treat diseases like HIV. I must mention here that this uh, work was done by two uh, members of our group, Amar Garg and Rajat Desikal, who have since left and uh, therefore are not around to participate in this discussion. I really speak on their behalf. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy our paper.